Hi everyone, welcome back. Today, I've got some interesting updates on the state of housing in Canada. We are at a critical juncture and it's clear we need to accelerate home construction to meet the growing demand. To address the several measures are being taken, one of the most recent is the announcement of pre-approved house plans, which could streamline the process. I think if we can combine these pre-approved plans with modular and prefab housing construction, it could be a good solution to provide more housing in a relatively short period. As you all know, we are facing a major housing shortage. According to the Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation, we are going to need about 3.5 million new homes by 2030. That's a huge number, and it is putting immense pressure on the construction industry to find faster and more affordable ways to build. Back in the day, during wartime, one clever solution was the strawberry box homes, mass-produced houses with uh, pre-approved designs, making the approval process quick and easy. But times have changed. Today, people don't want a basic cookie-cutter home, especially if they've invested in an expensive lot in places like Vancouver. While the strawberry box homes serve their purpose, modern designs need to evolve to meet current expectations. Now, let's take a look at the new pre-approved plans that were just released. Honestly, I think they've done a pretty good job with this. Some are calling them Vancouver Spare 2.0. The province has introduced 10 pre-approved designs, also known as a building block designs, to help speed up the permitting and development process. These royalty-free designs come with some of the necessary files to help homeowners and designers get started, along with the cost estimates. While exact costs vary by city, you can calculate them based on scale footage as a starting point to set up a budget. I know some of you might want your home to stand out from your neighbors, so the province has provided options for personalization. While customization is somewhat limited, you can change your cladding, roof style, and add solar shading devices. Since these designs are modular in nature, they are a great fit for modular housing. It seems the province designed them with modular construction in mind, not only to streamline the permitting process, but also to speed up the actual construction. I think this is a fantastic idea. As times change, these innovations will make things more efficient. Just like how shopping can now be done online and delivered to your doorsteps, houses can similarly be delivered and installed on site. If you are looking for a larger home, you can stack these blocks or place them side by side as they are designed for their purpose. However, keep in mind that most of these designs cater to SSMUH lights. Before starting any build, it's important to consult a professional to ensure the design suits your lot. Now, let's take a look at the available designs. First, we have uh, three types of accessory dwelling units, three types of duplex, uh, triplex, and two types of uh, fourplex designs, specifically for placements at the rear of your lot. I recommend you review the package as it is well prepared. Also, the surprise is that they are providing both CAD and Revit files allowing designers to save lots of time when preparing the designs. What's also interesting is that these pre-approved designs are perfect for modular construction, which brings us to modular homes. Modular homes are built in sections in a factory, then shipped to the site and assembled like giant Lego blocks. This method not only speeds up construction, but also reduces waste and can save a lot of money. Given the housing crunch we are in, modular homes could be a modern solution to an age-old problem. So why am I focusing on modular construction? After doing a ton of research, I found that modular and prefab homes have the potential to revolutionize the building process, making it faster and more affordable. Believe it or not, you can even find modular homes for sale on Amazon. Of course, buying one isn't as simple as click buy now. You will still need to deal with the paperwork, building permit, utilities, coordinating with the various professionals. But it's a sign how modular homes are making waves in the market. Now, no one is going to buy a house from Amazon today, but it's certainly great marketing and draws attention to this evolving space. So with both pre-approved plan and modular homes in mind, could this be the future of housing? Interest rates are starting to go down, but it's not enough. We need something more innovative. Building a house is still extremely expensive due to high labor and material cost. Modular and prefab homes are not new concepts, but I think there is a lot of room for innovation here. By making the process more efficient, 
uh, we can drive down cost and reduce construction time. That's why I think it's worth spending time to study this further. And that's why I'm excited to launch a modular house series on this channel. Uh, over the course of three episodes, we will dive deep into what makes modular homes so exciting, how they work, and we will take a look uh, at some leading company uh, in the industry. We will explore why modular homes could be the future of housing in Canada. There is uh, a lot of potential in the construction industry as we need more housing. And those who keep studying and striving to find innovative ways to provide more housing at lower cost and with faster construction will be rewarded. And I like to be one of them. If you are a landowner, investor, builder, or designer who agrees with this and would like to work with me, feel free to reach out. And I'm open to business opportunities. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.